What is going on everybody and welcome back to yet another FIFA 21 review. So today we have got the big man himself, Serge Nabry, as an Arsenal fan, right? Letting go of this dude when he was young, letting him go to Bayern Munich is probably one of the worst mistakes in the club's history of like letting go of players wise. Dude, honestly, this dude is a monster in real life, and he is still only 25 years old. Man, we are very, very unlucky to have let him go, but when you think about it, like, you know, Chelsea let go of Salah, KDB, it happens, right? It's football, but you just cannot deny the fact that Nabry in real life is honestly nuts. So, we have actually built my squad, and this is my starting team. Cost me around 100 to 200k, um, so I'm honestly, I'm honestly very, very happy with it. I am very, very happy with it. Lots of hidden gems in here, like Caputo, um, but you guys should expect an Insigne review, a Lucas and Nandi's review, a Rusilion review, maybe, uh, but today, and the main reason you're on this video, we have got a Surge Nabry review, so we are going to hop into an online match to test them out, and if you guys are new to my reviews, I do some reviews where I I live gameplay like actually play the game whilst talking which is what this review is and I do some reviews that are post com I do like I mix it up now and again to fit everybody's needs but if you guys are new make sure to drop a like and subscribe it is completely free but without further ado boys let's get into the stats so coming in at five foot nine with high medium work crates and its preferred foot is right I mean four star four star as well on this on this literally on the screen I'm looking at 5'9", massive tick, good body build, he'll feel great on the ball, high medium work rates, massive tick, right foot, massive tick, 4 star, 4 star, massive tick, this card is looking really, really good, but the main reason we're here, the attribute details, so for some reason, right, EA have decided to give him a minus 8 or minus 9 in pace, but they've also done that to Sancho, they kept some players around the same, um, so maybe the hinting towards pace won't be as meta, or pace will be more rare, so if you get a special card with pace, it will be worth a lot more, and it will be a lot more valuable than usual. So with this pace boost, Nabry goes from 90 acceleration to 99 acceleration, and the big boy plus 10 boost on a sprint speed, so it will go from 76 to 86 sprint speed, giving him an average of 92 pace, which will be very phenomenal. Now, the good thing with Hunters, instead of giving a plus 5 finishing boost like last year, they now give a plus 10, so literally 92 pace. 95 finishing, 96 shot power, 98 volleys, 90 attacking positioning, he looks nuts, as for dribbling his stats look good here as well, strength isn't too bad coming in at 69 and 78 stamina can hold up more than enough at this point of the game. This dude is nuts, and if you have a look at right mid slash right wings in the Bundesliga, you don't have too much options, lads. You do not have too much options. You've got him, Sancho, literally there's no right wings, but for right mids, you've got him, Sancho, and then I believe it's literally Belarabi. You've got three options. I've reviewed Sancho. Now it's time to review Nabry. Without further ado, boys. Let's get in to the review. Also, I did actually forget to mention he does have the flare trait, which is a decent trait to have. I'm going to set up the custom tactics, and I'll see you guys when we have set that up. So we have set up the custom tactics. We will be rocking with a 4 triple two formation, which is exactly what I used last year, and I am in love with this formation. We're going to have Leymar and Tonali at CDM, with Nabry on the right and Insigne on the left. Caputo and Swan, I'm not going to try to pronounce that name, two strikers up front. So... As for Nabry's uh, instructions, which I'll explain why, what I've gone with, get into the box for cross, which for me is a no-brainer with your right cams, left cams, right mids, left wings. Basically, if Insigne's cutting inside, or Caputo's cutting inside, Nabry will literally run into the box so he can get in a position to shoot the ball, which is the best, best uh, instructions you can have for a right cam, left cam, right wing, and so on, in my opinion. I also have him on drift wide as well as Insigne, just so they kind of work as wingers in a way. So they're kind of like wingers, but of course more defensive, pushed back a bit with a cam, um, and they also do feed it to our strikers. So let's see what Serge Nabry has got in his locker. Let's get into it. Found a match basically instantly, so the team we'll be coming up against is, if we lose this game, I'm quitting FIFA. If we lose this game, I'm deleting my channel, I'm deleting FIFA. If I lose this game, you will no longer see my channel videos ever again. There's no way I refuse to lose to this team. Right, I've got Leymar progressing with it here. Play that off to Caputo, I believe that was. 
Now to Insigne. Insigne, we're going to boost with it. Fake shot here. As you can see, just keep an eye on Nabry. Far out on the right. We'll see if we can get this over to him. We can too. He gives that into the box. Wang gets a shot through. That was a poor shot, man. That was a poor shot. But Nabry, once again, already getting involved. Very, he's literally robbed on an assist. If I was better in that position, or my striker was better in that position, would be one up. And Nabry would be on, a, on an assist sheet already. Unlucky. Um, How are we 1-0 down to this team? Are you mad? Are you mad? That just fell right back to him. Insigne over the top. Nabry. Nabry's got that. Go on. Finish that, son. There we go, boys. Serge Nabry runs into a defender. Claps us to the ground. That's a true celebration there, boys. Serge Nabry. A brilliant finish as well. That was a brilliant finish. Playing this out to Nabry here. Nabry. Good ball roll. Hard pass down. There we go. If we can score from this, that'll be scenes. Not quite. Go on. Rid of Nabry. If you can finish a son, if you can finish a son, of course you can. You're Serge Nabry. You're Serge Nabry. Of course you can, bro. Of course you get that celebration in there as well, boys. A brace already from 2-0 down to 3-2 to up. And rightly so. It's like, we, we, we deserve to be winning, right? It's a shit team. But Serge Nabry, go on, son. A brace 30 minutes in, bringing us back from 2-0 down. Let's go. Lovely. Right. We see Nabry making that run. He's going to cut inside, getting into the box. There we go, Nabry, drag back here, we see Insigne, into Insigne, is that an assist it is too? It is too boys, 4-2, from 2-0 down, Nabry getting two goals and a sensational assist there. Obviously starting to run into the box, that's those instructions, he saw my right striker, not going to try to pronounce his name, um, running down wide, so Nabry knew, get into the box or cross, he's going to start running into that box, which is where I played that off to Nabry, who then played that off to Insigne. Custom tactics working to its finest and Nabry doing what Nabry does best, boys. Let's go. Playing that out. Go on. We spot Nabry. Starts making that run. We've still got it, though. We're going to flick that up over. That wasn't quite what I wanted, but... Okay, it's half time. A little bit gutted because I was actually going to give that through to Mbabu there, but so far, half time. 52% position. Obviously, all my shots on target going in. I am very, very impressed with Nabry, boys. I am very, very impressed with Nabry. If we go to play ratings, um, he's 8.5, currently sitting on two goals and one assist. He is doing absolute bits for us right now, lads. And honestly, I love his custom tactics for him. With the Hunter, he goes to like 92 pace, like I said. With the massive pace nerf this year, pace is important. And that Hunter on Nabry works absolutely perfect. See, we've got him now. Testing up agile dribbling as well. Agility balance-wise, what, around 86 and 85? So, not incredible. But still, he's very, very agile with his agile, agile dribbling. Um, Don't get me wrong. He is very, very good with dribbling. Should we see Nabry making that run now? That's sensational. Go on. There's no way we're going to score it from here. We could have sweated in. Oh my god, it's a hat trick. It's a hat trick for the man himself, Serge Nabry. I was like, no way we're going to score from here. It's a tight angle. I was contemplating sweating that to Caputo there, but Nabry does it himself. Three goals up. Three goals up, boys. Let's go. Nabry. Actually, we see that. That was meant to be just Caputo, but this will work. As you can see, once again, these instructions, Nabry running straight into the box, which is what I like because we can play that off. And that's four. That's four for Serge Nabry. Wow. Wow. It's absolutely sensational. He's going to quit as well. Is that the rage quit? Is that the rage quit? You know you want to do it. You know what? You want to go down a four foot match and, and press yes. You know you want it. No, he's not going to do it, okay? Go on, we see Nabry making that run. There we go. Turn the sprinters on. This is what you're there for. Goes plus one. Referee. That's a red. Surely that is a red. You just can't handle the heat. Yep, that is. You just can't handle the heat of Serge Nabry, can you? You just can't handle it, boys. Oh, it's a red card. I believe that's a free kick. Maybe not the most of dangerous positions. But what we are going to do, we are just going to bop that to Insigne. Insigne to Nabry. Still got the play here. If we can build up and score from this, that would be sick. Nabry on it now. We're going to sweep that across goal. And that's Insigne bagging that away to make it 8-3. Right, boys, it looks like that will be the full whistle. 
absolute domination 10-3 we are both going very attacking by the seams of it um i'm not sure i was going i believe was it attacking or defensive of obviously an attacking lineup straight away so it was a very very attacking game we got the best out of nabry boys and holy shit was insane a 10 out of 10 rating four goals and two assists six goal contributions is nuts he's a but my opponent was a foot founder as well so we are going to watch over these highlights then you guys will see the pros and cons screen so we are 2-0 down and then Nabry brings it back for us as you can see here we give that ball through to Nabry Nabry takes that touch and bangs at home sensational finish as for Insigne's goal as you can see Nabry running into space drag back gives it into Insigne and pow there we go that's a goal and an assist putting us 3-2 up or 3-1 oh no yeah 3-2 up yeah, no, 2-2, two, two, I don't know. But either or, this is the one to make it, I believe, was at 6-3. As you can see in the top right, Nabry goes all the way. An absolutely sensational finish. Once again, it's a bit of a repeat. It's a bit of a rebeat here. We see Nabry into the box, and that was his fourth. He was honestly incredible, boys. He was honestly incredible. Once again, Nabry here. We sweep that across, and that was his second assist, I believe. Boys, he was nuts on the screen right now. His pros is literally his pace, his shooting, his dribbling, his passing. He was he honestly had it all. Four star, four star was insane. And his cons is nothing. Coming in at 27,000 coins, is Serge Nabry worth it? Without a doubt, is he worth it, boys? Go buy this card. He's probably, I played with Serge Nabry and Jaden Sancho. And in my opinion, Nabry was better. Nabry was better with a hunter, boys. I definitely recommend it. And he will be staying in my team for probably a while now. Because obviously it fits my team perfectly, as you saw in the intro. And I will continue to keep it that way. Anyway, boys, this has been your boy Davis. If you did get anything from the review, make sure to smash a like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out, lads.